Welcome back to another video. It's Benjamin from the Bitcoin Blueprint and in today's video we are going to be speaking about what is meant by DeFi and liquidity pools and how does it exactly work. In addition, you want to stick around because I'm going to explain to you how you can earn up to 94.5% annual percentage yield. So get ready for the video, sit back and let's go. Thank you for joining me once again. If you are new to the channel, please remember to hit that like, subscribe, and tick that notification bell to stay up to date with the Bitcoin Blueprint. So without further ado, let's dive into DeFi. So what is DeFi? DeFi stands for Decentralized Finance. DeFi made its first emergence back in 2017 with multiple initial coin offerings, otherwise known as ICOs. At this time, there was only around $1 billion circulating within DeFi protocols. And hasn't that changed? So let's take a look at what exactly are the aims of DeFi. Well, this explosive movement places decentralization at its forefront of its genre. To put it another way, decentralized financial ecosystem comprises of a multitude of non-custodial financial products. Now, anyone with the know-how can access non-custodial loans. One aspect of DeFi is that people around the world have greater access to financial loans and services. So to understand this, we need to contrast this with the traditional custodial methods of finance. Today, your ability to access custodial loans, for instance, is determined purely by where you work, your income, and your credit score. As an example, let's take a traditional bank the determination is largely decided on the basis by custodians that are centralized. The process of determining your access to financial services within the decentralized financial ecosystem is purely based on code, whereby algorithms will determine your eligibility. So what does DeFi have to offer? As algorithms now determine eligibility for financial services, there may be many attractive incentives for investors. Let's break that down. Decentralized finance is decentralized in that it is not centralized. Let's take your typical exchange as an example. A centralized exchange where all assets traded on the exchange are ultimately controlled and owned by the exchange. They provide users with order books that display selling and buying prices. In simple terms, this gives users access to be able to buy and sell assets. But when it comes to DeFi, you are connected to your DeFi wallet, by which you are the custodian. You may think of examples such as MetaMask, Binance Smart Chain, or Smart Wallet. You might be wondering, well, how do DeFi exchanges work if it weren't for traditional order book system that centralized exchanges use? Well, thanks to decentralized exchanges, abbreviated as DEX, and protocols like Kyber, one inch and balancer for instance aggregates all decentralized exchanges on the one website these are referred to as automated money makers unlike our centralized exchange example decentralized exchanges rely on liquidity pools to provide a somewhat similar experience and service to the traditional method of order books you're probably wondering what does liquidity even mean Liquidity in this context means how easy and efficient it is to move money around in a market setting. By way of illustration, if it is illiquid, in other words, without adequate liquidity, users will experience difficulties to find buyers and vice versa. Decentralized exchanges therefore offer attractive interest and incentivize users to earn while they add liquidity to these pools. Let me explain how this takes place. Users provide liquidity to a pool of their choice by staking a certain asset. The liquidity pool then supplies exchanges with liquidity. The exchange, through its platform, provides users with the ability to swap and trade assets, similar to the order book in centralized systems. The users then pay for trading fees to the exchange. The exchange then sends the trading fees to the liquidity pool the user is then rewarded for providing liquidity to the pool. It is basically as simple as that. And also remember there are risks. So ensure to do your own research. So when we talk about 
What does it mean to be your own custodian of your wallet and how does that play out in the world of DeFi? As you can see in front of me, you can earn 94.64% annual percentage yield, which is compounding interest on PancakeSwap, simply by staking the exchange token Cake, and in return you receive Cake as a reward. The first step to this is to get yourself a DeFi wallet, and that can be found on various sites. There are many, but today I've given you two. There's MetaMask and the Binance Smart Chain. As you can see, MetaMask supports iOS, Android, and also Chrome, Brave, Firefox, Edge. I do recommend checking out Brave as there is awesome um, crypto bonuses for using Brave. Um, but in any event, what you need to do is download. Once you download that, make sure you address your extensions here and you pin your extensions to the top of your browser. Once you do that, you will then need to create an account which will then prompt you with a seed phrase key. The phrase key is essentially your last resort to retrieving lost accounts. Now don't lose that, don't store it online. Once you've downloaded your desired wallet, ensure to pin it to the top of your bar, it just makes it easier to access. For anyone that is new and it's their first time connecting, whether you're connecting to a, a DAP, a decentralized application, a decentralized exchange, or perhaps a game, a GameFi, which is amazing by the way, some of them will have their own wallets. However, when it comes to most decentralized applications and decentralized exchanges, you should be able to connect via MetaMask or your Binance Smart Chain wallet. As you can see in front of me, I am interested now in the syrup pools, that is to get 94.63% annual percentage yield. And once we have created our wallet, we've logged into our wallet, we've stored our seed phrase, and perhaps you have BNB on there, you can then connect that smart chain wallet to the decentralized exchange PancakeSwap as such. Once we click the connect wallet in the top right corner, you can see it's prompting us now with what wallet we want to connect. You can have multiple wallets because not all applications will connect to one type of wallet. We can see I've given you the two major examples with MetaMask and also Binance Smart Chain. So for this example, we're going to go ahead with the Binance Smart Chain. Once we connect, it now registers my wallet and it, it recognizes an existing relationship with that wallet. So now I'm allowing the website to have some kind of connection with my wallet. You can see how this is different to the decentralized exchange method whereby the you never need to connect your wallet to the centralized exchange as a centralized exchange stores your assets within that wallet anyway. As you can see, I've recently taken some profits with my cake, but I have 11,200 US dollars staked. And basically what happens is I purchase cake tokens with my BNB or whatever asset you want to. And then with my cake tokens, I stake it into this syrup pool and then I'm rewarded with cake tokens. Now, Cake Token is an exchange token for, for um, PancakeSwap, similar to what BNB is for Binance. A BNB is used in other different ways now. We have NFTs, and we always have, also have the Binance Smart Chain as well. But by and large, it is Cake is your exchange token that allows you to do certain things on the exchange. Cake's first daily close candle closed at 17 US dollars on the 21st of February, 21. Since then it hit an all time high of 44 US dollars and now we're sitting nicely as you can see on the bottom left corner at $17.66 each cake. Now this is one way you can also um, stake your cake or take advantage of DeFi and its liquidity pools. So we are on DAP Radar, that is Decentralized Application Radar and that allows us to be able to connect our DeFi wallet to most of these either uh, decentralized exchanges, games, there's all sorts of stuff here. Now if we're going to hit DeFi, you will then see it's giving us an overview. In addition, you can see that is Uniswap. So for instance, I've just given you an example how to connect to PancakeSwap. Let me give you an example how to connect to some other decentralized exchange or decentralized application. Once we hit Uniswap, we can then open the decentralized application here on the left. It is prompting us to connect our DeFi wallet so that the decentralized exchange in this circumstance, Uniswap can then talk to our wallet and the, and the assets within our wallet. So to do that, once again, top right corner, click connect the wallet. It is now asking me to connect one of my DeFi wallets. You can see that with Uniswap, it supports MetaMask and not the Binance Smart Chain. In that case, 
we can then go ahead log in once we log in it's connected it will then show for instance if I had four ethereum in that wallet you would then see four ethereum now this is a prime example how liquidity pools act as a gateway for users and traders to be able to send swap and trade assets amongst one another so is cake a good time to buy now well I'll leave that up to you Thank you for watching the video today guys please remember to hit that like subscribe and follow button so you get notified for all the future videos see you in the next one